Ooh, carbonara. <laughs> Not yet, Binks. We still have an episode to film. I love myself a good carbonara. What if I told you this was dairy-free and low in calories? Ooh. And it's also easy and quick to make. Ooh. Let's get to it because someone's excited. Today, we're gonna make dairy-free, low-calorie carbonara, which is just as creamy and just as flavorful as the real thing. I'm really excited about this one. But um, for all the Italians out there, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're only gonna get mad. I mean, just, it's just better if you just, yeah, yeah, get out of here. Look, there are many different ways to cook, and it's 2022, so you'll be aight. Welcome to Change. What's great about this dish is you have a good source of fats, protein, and carbs that contain a lot of fiber. And these are great components for a well-balanced diet. So let's get to the kitchen and make some carbonara. And because it's dairy-free, it's Javi-friendly. Hello. This recipe does not contain garlic, onions and crushed red pepper due to my brother's food restrictions. Feel free to use these items when you create this recipe. You're gonna start with a glass bowl and Banza chickpea pasta. Before you freak out, even though it's gluten-free, it has the same texture and consistency of regular pasta. Now, if you wanna use regular pasta, which is totally fine, you're going to add a few extra calories, which would be 10 calories per serving, which isn't much. So what I recommend if you use any other pasta, just to use eight ounces of that pasta and you'll be good to go. You're gonna add almond mozzarella cheese. This is a good brand. Applegate turkey bacon, which is my favorite turkey bacon, which I've used in other recipes. Chicken breasts and nutritional yeast. Not really much. Oh yeah, almond milk. Almost forgot you. In the great words of Babbage. At this point I'm gonna ask all Italians to leave the room because it's time to make carbonara. Bye. You're gonna start with eight cups of water. Sixty grams of your almond mozzarella. Eighteen grams of that good old nutritional yeast. You're gonna bring that water to a simmer. Foods. Oh no, Banks, not yet. Put eight ounces of your pasta. You're gonna spray your pan and you're gonna chop up four slices of turkey bacon. Ah, oh, I just love this sound. Ooh. Hold on, Binks. Not just yet. Don't forget to stir the noodles and keep your eye on the little guy. Now, cook your pasta for 8 to 10 minutes and give it a taste to find out if the firmness is perfect for you. Take out a strand and eat it. See if it's done. Don't throw it against the wall, you friggin' weirdo. <laughs> I don't know why I did this, but, um, but when I did strain it, all the water went right back into the pot. So I didn't make a mess at all. Right now you're gonna cut off the heat because when you throw in that egg yolk and the heat is still on, you're gonna unintentionally scramble eggs. We don't want that. A little bit of almond milk. I think in total I've used was a cup and a half, but I did a splash here and gave it a nice mix until I got this consistency. And this is very nice. Ah, the bacon. Ah. Oh. Okay, it's good. All right, now you're gonna mix your noodles. You're gonna mix your bacon all in together. And then you're gonna put the rest of your almond milk. Honestly, it's your preference. It's up to you how wet you want your noodle. You're gonna add Italian seasoning, salt to taste, but don't be shy, and a dash of black pepper. And actually, more or less, you're done. Foods. Hold on, Binks. Would you like to add more food to this? 
<laughs> oh no, Binks. That is not ready at all. Don't forget to season it with Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And after your chicken is ready, toss it in your mixture, and there you go. And when you hear that sound, you know it's ready. Full transparency, I was actually doing a little bit of rushing while I was cooking for this episode and there are a couple questionable things that I did that I didn't notice until I started editing. I'm like, why did I do that? I don't cook this way. You're a crazy person. So <laughs> I hope you persons have an opportunity to make this meal. If you're trying to maintain or lose weight and you're tired of eating salads and chicken, broccoli and rice and all that, you know, generic diet stuff. Here's something a little bit different. And feel free to make any alterations that can accommodate your needs. Nothing is better than a full tummy. I heart you very much. And remember, you are sunshine. Create your own light and become OP. Mucho thanks. <laughs>